hey, I actually had another video planned for today, but a couple of you left comments uh, relating to not liking yourself, and particularly not liking the way you look. And this affected me a lot, because I could get into the comments and yell at you all day to be more body positive and to not worry because there are people out there who like insert X body type that you happen to have, but you know, I've been there and I, you know, the mirror is a very dangerous invention for me because I can spend a long time looking at my giant head and I don't know if you can see this. This should not be here. There should be hair here. I have a bald spot that bugs me because I twist my hair when I get nervous. So I have had the issue of not liking my body. I've been lucky enough not to experience uh, any real gender dysphoria, but there are things that I definitely don't like about the way I look, and I know that uh, being yelled at to be more body positive and that, no, you really look good, um, does not always help take that away. I remember um, my mom and my aunts and uh, several other middle-aged women used to call me cute, and uh, I know they were being nice, but uh, I wanted to hear that from someone my age, you know? Anyway. Um, I'm doing this video in one take because I want to be as raw as possible, and I just want to tell you a few things that um, have kind of helped me relating to this issue of body image, um, which I've actually just figured out very recently. So number one is... Um, the way my attraction works is that I actually am more attracted to somebody if they are kind to me, or if they are thoughtful, or if they are friendly. Like, if you are any of those things, if you treat me nicely, I will want to spend more time with you, and it will get to the point eventually where I, like, actually enjoy looking at you more. So that's one thing, and I think that I have a very kind and loving audience, and I think you all have that really going for you. Second is um, something I, I actually, it took me a long time to figure out, but there are features of me, there are features of you that you may not like about yourself um, that other people may actually really like. So, um, I recently realized that, you know how you can be skinny, like, this way? Like, you can have, like, a skinny waist or, like, thin shoulders. I recently realized that you can also be, like, skinny this way. You can be, like, flat. Um, I am not flat. I am fairly thick <laughs> this, this way. And, I do not like that about myself. I've always been conscious about my weight and about my the fat that I have around my my belly. I don't like that. I know a lot of uh, guys when they were going through their teenage years were skinny and wanted to be bigger or more muscular. I wanted to be thinner. Anyway, um, I recently noticed that, that that people can be flat and people can be thick. Um, and I talked about this with my boyfriend, Alex, and he told me not only has had he realized that, but he was actually attracted to people who were thick, <laughs> like me. Um, and that kind of astonished me, because that was something uh, about myself that I had always considered a minus, and to him it was a plus. And the third thing that I wanted to say about uh, body image is that people look different all the time. You know, your appearance changes day to day and week to week, month to month, and people notice when you look good, even though we might be 
too shy to say it. You know, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll just say it. You know, if you if you are watching this video, and I know you, I have met you in person, or if I've seen one of your videos, I guarantee you there is a time when I have looked at you and thought, this person looks cute or this person looks handsome, or this person looks elegant, or this person looks really spiffy in that outfit. I am not joking. I am not making that up to just to be nice. I have thought those thoughts for real. And if you are watching this video and our paths haven't crossed, just think about this. If I have thought those things about so many different people, Chances are, someone has thought that about you. Okay, a couple of announcements before I go. Um, I've been really hesitant to start engaging my audience on this channel because I've kind of been thinking like, oh, I'll wait till my channel gets bigger and more people can be engaged. But that's totally the opposite of what I should be doing. I should be doing audience engagement now so that you will be more excited to come back and that you will bring your friends. Um, anyway, a couple of things that I would like you to get involved with. First, uh, I want you to write questions for me in the comments. I want to do at least one question video, but you can leave questions about me, about uh, life, the universe, anything. Uh, you can a ask questions about local history. I have an entire university library at my disposal and I would love to do really long, nerdy explanation videos of things that I have uh, researched. So, leave questions for me down there. Uh, second, I am going to hold my first live stream and I'm going to do it on the last day of Vita, April 30th. Um, I am going to sing some songs that you request, and I have been putting this off for a long, long time, and I'm kind of scared uh, to do it, but I am going to sort myself uh, into a Hogwarts house, and you are all going to be invited to see me do that. Uh, so look forward to that on April 30th, and I will put a doodle poll down in the description so that you can vote for the times for a live stream that would work best for you on that day. That's all for me, and I hope that you are all doing well. I'll see you again tomorrow.